All right, so now on to like the rock or classic rock or just general rock records that I wouldn't consider like punk or emo or anything. I got uh, Alice in Chains. Love this record, the audio file edition. One of my favorite albums of all time. Uh, that was a gift from my friends too. I got Bad Company. I've actually probably never listened to this. I don't even know what it sounds like besides that one song. But yeah, this is like a dollar. And this is back when I bought records for a dollar before I knew it would make the sound quality worse. Oh well. Uh, Beatles Magical Mystery Tour. This one's old. This one's practically falling apart. I don't even think I've played this one before. But yeah, original copy, but probably not worth a lot of money because it's so dilapidated and it's falling apart at this point. Oh well. Um, the Beatles with the White Album, great find for only 20 bucks. Usually, usually you can't find this thing for under like 35 bucks. Like, and it skips a little bit, but that's a sacrifice I'm willing to make because the album's is fucking awesome. Another one of my favorite albums of all time, Beatles with Abbey Road. Um, Boston, self-titled. I mean, it's a great album. I'm not exactly my kind of music anymore, but. Uh, how much was that? Uh, it's probably like a, oh no, I think I got that from my neighbor actually. But um, yeah, you can't deny it's a great album. Uh, the Cars, I think this one's called Heartbeat City. Yeah, um, it's weird. I don't think I've ever listened to this one, which is weird because I love the Cars. But um, I think that one was also from my neighbor. Uh, got Car Seat Headrest with Twin Fantasy, another one of my favorite albums of all time. Love this album so much. Relate to it a lot, you know great album uh man a lot of these are pretty old because they're in the rock section i think i got this from the library actually no this was the first record i ever bought it's like one dollar copy of uh alice cooper's killer never listened to it but i have it you know never really been a, uh, an alice cooper fan either but um foreigner with their greatest hits also a dollar i think i've listened to this one before though because uh foreigners from rochester or at least lou Grimes from rochester so you know, gotta represent and I do love Foreigner, I've seen them live. And even without the Grand, they were pretty good. Um, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard, Ottomans. I also love that King Gizzard has all their shit in a uh, color vinyl. Uh, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard with Nautagon Infinity. One of my favorite albums of all time, actually. As well as uh, this one, uh, Infest the Rat's Nest. You know, they, they kind of did some like thrash metal in there. As well as some like heavy metal shit. It's really cool. I recommend listening to it if you haven't. And then I got uh, Fishing for Fishies. You know, King Gizzard is another one of those bands that hasn't really released any just flat out bad albums. Um, then I got I got all the Led Zeppelin here. Uh, or wait, oh never mind. Uh, the King's Greatest Hits. Then I should. Yeah, I'm gonna just go through this quickly because it's. Quite a few. Led Zeppelin 1. Still missing Led Zeppelin 2. That I think that's the only Led Zeppelin record I'm missing. Or I have a copy, uh, a copy of Physical Graffiti that I lost too. So I guess that too. Uh, Led Zeppelin 3. And most of these are original copies by the way. And they also all play pretty well because whoever had them took very good care of them. Led Zeppelin 4. And I'm not like a huge Zeppelin fan anymore which is ironic because I have all these records but you know, still good to have them. Great band, no denying that. Uh, Houses of the Holy, this is, uh, this is the gatefold. This is, I think, my only new copy of a Led Zeppelin album. Led Zeppelin and Through the Outdoor. Uh, Led Zeppelin with Presence. Probably my personal favorite Led Zeppelin album, actually. That one's super underrated. Their later albums are actually really good. And their last one, I think this was like a compilation or something, but um, Led Zeppelin with Coda. And then that's all the Led Zeppelin I have. Uh, Paul McCartney with McCartney 2. Interesting album. Uh, it has a couple really fucking bad songs, or at least Temporary Secretaries, which is bad. <laughs> yeah, this has the Gatefold too. Uh, very cool, but this is overall a really good album. Definitely worth listening to. And that one was a gift from my friends. Then I got uh, another Nirvana one up there. It's a it's a Palladium Hollywood 1990 live 
but I just got that, so I, I am, I'm still listening to it, because it has, it's 2LP, but I also got Bleach. And then, of course, Nevermind. Still don't have a copy of In Utero, at least not one that I own. But, yeah, Nirvana, another one of my favorite bands of all time, obviously. Uh, Fish with Lawn Boy. Uh, it's gonna be a bitch to take this, okay. Anyway, yeah, it's gonna be a bitch to take this out of the thing, because it's, it's like... You take the record out like that way, which is annoying, but it's 2LP. Uh, I think I s only spent like 35 bucks on it, which was a pretty good deal because most of Fish's records aren't under $50. But yeah, you know, I'm a huge Fish fan. No denying that I grew up with him. So, uh, Pearl Jam with Vitology. This is one of the f another one of the first records I ever got because I'm not a huge Pearl Jam fan anymore, but. You know, 180 gram, great quality vinyl, and not a bad album either, honestly. It's very enjoyable, in my opinion. Has its clunkers, but overall very good. Uh, the Police with... I never know how to say this. Zunyata Matata. Uh, yeah, Zunyata Matata. It has, like, Don't Stand So Close to Me and shit. They're uh, behind my camel. Great album, I love The Police. Proclaimers with Sunshine and Leaf. Really all I got that for was, was uh... I'm gonna be 500 miles because no one. Let's be honest, no one knows any other uh, Proclaimer songs. But yeah, great like power pop band, nonetheless. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age, rated R. That has uh, two vinyls, I believe, or it's two LP. Uh, Queens of the Stone Age, uh, songs for the deaf. I was super happy that they reissued that because you could never find it like anywhere. But yeah, super happy I finally found that. I got this one at the Queens of the Stone Age show. I got two like three or four years ago. Um. Villains, their latest effort, which I really liked. People had their own reservations about it, but I really liked it. I thought it was a great, uh, great record. Um, Rat Out of the Cellar, that, I think that was from my neighbor. But, yeah, not a huge, like, hair metal guy, personally, but, you know, it's not bad, for sure. Uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers with Blood Sugar Sex Magic. I only really have their earlier albums, because, um, I think that's the only good part of their discography. I really am not a huge Chili Peppers fan, but I also got, uh, Freaky Styly. Their early stuff was just so, like, carefree and not, like, I don't know. Their new stuff is basically just, like, contemporary pop. And they got a lot less funky, too. Todd Rundgren, um... I always forget what this, what it's called. The ever popular Torture Guards effect. Yeah, it's got Bang the Drum All Day. Love Todd Rundgren, you know. I I don't know if he would be considered power pop, but if he is, great power pop musician. Santana with Abraxas. I don't think I've ever listened to this one because mainly because I'm just not a huge Santana fan. A lot of the ones that I haven't listened to, I just got from like the neighbor or something. Uh, what's this? Swans with Great Annihilator. Uh, there's a really cool record store around where I live that has a bunch of like cool experimental and like post rock and post punk and shit. And I found this, um, you know, and I, it came with a poster too. Uh, I love Swans. I wouldn't say they're one of my favorite bands, but I, every time I've listened to their music, I've enjoyed it. I got two copies of the Blue Album. I got this uh, just a regular copy on black vinyl, and then the co the copy, or the Target exclusive one, that's still in the shrink wrap, um, that has a blue vinyl. Oh yeah, by the way, this is definitely the biggest part of my collection. It's, I have most Weezer, I think I have every single Weezer album besides Ratitude. Um, Pinkerton, classic. Another one of my favorite albums of all time, you know? Uh, yeah, it's getting harder to get these out of the bottom. Uh, Weezer, Green Album. Probably one of my least favorite albums from uh, of theirs, but it still has a couple like standout tracks like Hash Pipe and Island in the Sun and shit. Uh, Maladroit. Oh, it's so underrated. Yeah, it's 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 pretty good. I don't know. I just mainly I, I um Weezer was my favorite band for the longest time. I I'd still consider them one of my favorite bands, obviously, but uh yeah. I don't know, I just collected all their shit. Uh Weezer with make believe. That was a more recent one, I think, just because I was trying to finish off my Weezer collection. Because I was sick of going to the record store and being like, oh, there's this really cool record I want to get, but I've got to finish my Weezer collection. 
So I always end up buying like a $20 Weezer record. Luckily, their records are always cheap, though, for the most part. Uh, Red Album. That one's actually pretty good. It has a couple clunkers, but it has some, like, amazing tracks on it. Weezer with Hurley. Another one of my least favorites, probably, but it has a couple standout tracks, you know. And also the stupidest album cover of all time. Um, Weezer with everything all right. Uh, 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 Weezer with everything will be all right in the end. Um, one of their better albums for sure. One of their best albums even. It's kind of when they had their whole return to form thing. It's like, oh, Weezer's good again, and then oh, never mind. Until Okay Human. <laughs> but Weezer uh, with White Album, probably my favorite, personal favorite Weezer album. I don't think it's their best. That probably has to go to Blue or Pinkerton, but like. Just in terms of, like, personal listening, that one's my favorite Weezer album. Uh, Weezer with Pacific Daydream, which I actually hated originally, but now I think it's pretty good. It has some pretty good tracks on it. Yeah, it's, it's solid, honestly. Nothing, like, too special, but... Yeah, I, I still dig it, for sure. Uh, Weezer with Teal album. Probably my least favorite Weezer album, if I'm being completely honest. Just because it's, it's just the covers, you know? It's not... It's not like, whoa, like... New Weezer album. No, it's just covers, and they're all they all just kind of sound like the original, anyways. Um, but yeah, Weezer with Black album. I believe that one's color vinyl too. Then, oh my god, what? And then I got two copies of OK Human. Um, because one's the color like the I think it's called Control Room Chaos Splatter. I'm not gonna get it out again because then it's gonna be a hassle to get it back in. But yeah, I don't know which one is which. <laughs> But fucking great album. Another one of my favorites from 2021. Weezer really came through with that. Um, yeah, you know, great, great album. Love the orchestral arrangements too. Rivers really knew what he was doing. Um, then the last Weezer one. Thank God, finally, <laughs> Van Weezer, which I actually really liked. Um, it had. It wasn't one of my favorites of this year, but I think it's one of their better albums for sure. Then I think this is rap here. No, either rap, yeah, yeah, it is. Um, I got, I don't have too much rap, but the rap I do have, I really love, like, uh, Freddie Gibbs's, uh, Freddie Gibbs's and the Alchemist's Alfredo. Great album, another one of my favorites from 2020. Um, Danny Brown, Atrocity uh, Exhibition. Good shit. Really good shit. Oh, where'd the money store go? Oh no. Oh. Yeah, Death Grips with the money store. I, um, I wouldn't consider myself a huge Death Grips fan, but like, these three records that I have from them, I love. They're just super fucking weird and chaotic. Uh, Bottomless Pit. Which is, um, my favorite one's The Money Store, easily, but, um, Bottomless Pit's also great. And then their newest one, still, still waiting on a new Death Crest record, um, You're the Snitch, which has their fucking weirdest album cover. Makes me extremely uncomfortable, but I love it because it's weird. Um, and I'm looking into getting more Kanye, but my uh, local record store, or stores, don't really have much, usually, but I got the College Dropout. You know, definitely a contender for his best album. I think if it weren't for some of his later albums, that would be his best. But uh, I also got Jesus is King, which I... Fuck you all, I like this album. I think it's great. Great production. A couple weak tracks, you know. Closed on Sunday kind of sucks, but besides that, I think it's a great album. Uh, Kendrick Lamar with Good Kid, Mad City. Classic. Then, I don't have T-Pad. For whatever reason. But I got a copy of Damn. Another great album. Probably, uh... I don't know. Definitely one of my favorites from 2017. Uh, then I got some classics here. Uh, Nas with Illmatic. I think definitely fair to say the greatest hip-hop album of all time. Although it's not my personal favorite. Like, either that or Mad Villainy. You could go either way. Unfortunately, I don't have any MF Doom, though. You can never find that anywhere. Uh, Snoop Dogg, Doggy Style. Atrocious album cover. One of my favorite album albums of all time. Then, uh, I don't have a case 
Uh, I lost the um, the actual like sleeve for Flower Boy, but I also have that with my Tyler stuff. But um, I got Goblin, one of my favorite hip hop albums of all time. I don't care what anyone says, it's fucking great. I don't know what it is about it, man. I just maybe it's nostalgia because I listened to this thing like freshman year of high school for the first time, and I really I, I, I don't want to say I connected with it, but it really kind of got me into hip hop. That and Flower Boy. Uh, but yeah, I love Tyler. Uh, Igor. This is, uh, I hang this up on my wall, so that's why it's like sticky. It's a gay fold. Um, another one of my favorite albums. 2019. Then here we just have my pop stuff. Um, super lucky to have this album. I, I, I don't know if I'm that lucky, actually. It's probably not worth too much money, but it still has the original stickers on it. Uh, Rick Astley, never gonna give you up. It's like hilarious. How could I? How could I not buy that? And also, the music isn't bad. The other songs all kind of sound the same, but it's good music. And plus, it has the funny meme song, so whatever. Uh, Billy Joel, greatest hits, which unfortunately skips a lot. But Billy Joel's another one of those artists, like the Ramones. You know, I love Billy Joel, but I'm not gonna go through and actually buy all his records unless I find a copy of The Stranger. But I haven't yet. Like, I haven't found an original copy. I don't know, maybe I'm just not looking hard enough, but yeah, I love Billy Joel. Uh, I, I'd always consider Beach Boys a pop band, more so, but Pet Sounds, I got Pet Sounds, because they, they are another one of my favorite bands, but like, I, I don't know. I can never, I can never find a copy of the Smile Sessions, and those are like the two essential albums for me. Um, Commodore's anthology uh the, yeah it's just the greatest hits compilation because again i'm not going to go through and buy all the commodore's records but that one you know that one's great obviously uh the commodore's are amazing i got duran duran with rio people make fun of duran duran i don't know why i don't have a clue in my head duran duran are amazing and i will say that until the day i die Oh my god, it's all sticky because some of these were on my wall. Uh, Stand By Me soundtrack. This record's super thin, actually. I, I doubt it plays very well anymore because it's very old. This is one of my, uh, this is like one of my grandparents' records. But yeah, I still haven't finished that movie. I've gotten like halfway through it and I loved it, but I just never finished it. But it has a great soundtrack for sure. Um, 21 Pilots. Yeah, no, one of my favorite albums of all time, no joke. Vessel. I think it's great. I think people make fun of 21 Pilots too much. I think they are a great band. Oh my god. Go back. There we go. Then, yeah, I also got Blurry Face, which I really don't like half the tracks on this that much. That's a gatefold too. Um, but, you know, it's like, this is such a staple of, you know, growing up in the era of 21 Pilots. And a couple of the tracks on here I really like. But uh, their newest effort, actually, uh, Trench, was very good. Also has the Gayful 2LP. Uh, yeah, this album grew on me a lot. I hated it at first, but then I it really warmed up to it. Very, very good album. Uh, I don't know why this one is down here, but I got uh, Van Halen 1. That probably means the other Van Halen that there's in here. I don't know. Yeah, I have like three copies of this somewhere, but for because uh, uh, my neighbor gave me a bunch of copies for some reason he had like multiple of 1984. But my uh, probably my personal favorite Van Halen album, controversial opinion. Like yeah, the de their debut's better, but like that one just personally I like it more. A uh, hundred Gex with a thousand Gex, great album. Fuck you all, I love it. And I'll defend it till the day I die. Super experimental, weird, and funny, and just everything, everything good. Uh, then I got Aphex Twin with the Richard D. James album. Fantastic album. Probably one of my favorite albums of all time. I don't have too much electronic. I don't think that might be the end of it. Unless there's more, and I'm wrong. Um, yeah, then the last one I got in here is just miscellaneous. Uh, Eddie Murphy record that I got from my neighbor. Still haven't listened to it, but I probably should. He's a funny dude. Anyway, thanks for watching. Um, 
you'd like to see more content like this, I guess let me know. I don't know, that's stupid. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.